Hey everyone, this is the Next Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Direware Solo. This is a little bit of a unique Direware Solo, as it doesn't have the average carbon fiber scale, as well as a new, it has a different blade steel. Um, so let's just take a look at the knife. I don't know too much about Direware knives, so I'll try just to talk about this one. It uses a blue G10 scale. You can see it is absolutely beautiful. He does not normally stock this. But I did ask for it, and I believe he actually special ordered this scale, or this color. Black hardware at the bottom, which looks really nice with the two-tone blade. Satin, pivot, as well as stop pin. And in the right light, this pivot pin actually gives off a um, rainbow effect. You can see it right there. So that's very cool. Lock bar side is a matching blue, but it is a blue titanium, both the lock bar as well as the pocket clip. You can see a little coloration change. That is actually from my fingers, as this is a hot um, under the lights. But changes right back to the beautiful blue anodization. Very cool there. On the back, we have a 440C backspacer, but it is a flow-through construction. This is, I believe, the fifth generation thinner scales, although I don't have a fourth generation or one with thicker scales to kind of compare it. And, of course, what you guys want to see, flipping action. Absolutely fantastic. Hawkbill blade, two-tone, so you can see black, with satin flats or um, satin grinds I should say the flats are coated absolutely beautiful grinds on here you can see dire wear and then it says the blade steel right there so CPM V. So a upgraded blade steel normally uses CPM S35VN. This is in 3V. So I believe it's a tougher blade steel. Let's show the opening again. Very cool. One thing I do like about this is the swedge up here only goes up to the second um, jimping. A lot of times I've seen them where they actually will go all the way up, but I think that looks beautiful. Some people mentioned that it looks like a whale, which I have to agree. Kind of does remind me of a whale. There's actually DLC on the top right there. At least I think this is DLC coating. I could be wrong. Let's take a look at it up close. I do like to make these videos also, just so I can remember them for when I'm looking back at my collection, how it's progressed. That's, the light is really shining off there. Okay, there we go. Hard to film this. I believe CPM3V is not a stainless steel, so definitely do not want to touch the uncoated part of the blade. As it could rust. Just a very awesome knife. A lot of people like overbuilt knives. I don't know. I, I haven't really formed my opinion on them. You can see the lock up there. Of course the blade. 
There you can see the beautiful grind lines. There's not too much information you can actually find out on the maker of Direware Knives. I've tried finding out what his name is and all that, but... I don't know. I think I was able to find that out, but not much more. Anyways, there is the Direware Solo. I don't know of too much more to say. The unique features on this, of course, are the CPM 3V blade instead of CPM S35 VN, G blue G10 instead of carbon fiber, blue anodized frame lock um, instead of a, I think, stone washed. The two tone finish is also different. Don't know what they normally put on it, but it's not normally. DLC with satin flats or satin ground grind. Eh. Gosh, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Anyways, it's summer now, so there will be more videos coming from me. As well as when I'm at Blade Show, I'll be filming a ton. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this knife. It'll probably be sold so I have some funds for Blade Show. Well, I know it's going to be sold to a fun blade show. But thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys later.